Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. This is the Tsunahisa G3 or Ginsanko uh, Nishiji Santoku 185mm knife. So the way these are made are three layers. Uh, they've got a uh, stainless or all stainless. Uh, the core steel is known as Ginsan or Silver 3 or Ginsanko or G3. Full stainless steel. It's a fine grain conventional stainless steel that's excellent. It sharpens up really easily and holds a Decent edge, but it'll get screaming sharp if you do your part, so it's just a great steel. The construction, as I mentioned, is three layers, so on either side of that hardcore cutting edge steel, you can see that cutting edge steel right there. This is the cladding. The cladding is soft stainless as well, and the cladding has that Nashiji or pear skin modeled finish to it. And then these have, uh, looks like laser engraved kanji, I believe. I think this is laser engraved kanji. Could be hand engraved, but I think it's laser engraved. Uh, so very nice looking blades. The weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife, but this particular one is 180, 158 grams, excuse me, 5.6 ounces. Edge length is 186 millimeters, so it's pretty pretty long for a Santoku. This gives you some extra length for some you know larger tasks. It makes for a, a nice intermediate length knife, uh, especially in a home environment or maybe in a prep environment. Uh, the uh, overall length is about 308 millimeters or 12 inches, a little over 12 inches. Spine thickness, pretty much I just got 2.0 millimeters thick all the way down. Uh, the spine does have some undulations there where you can see the uh, kind of the hammering on it and versus just being flat so it's kind of cool as you run your finger across there not a lot of distal taper where the spine thins up until you get to the grind itself so here's the grind where it goes from the, the you know the thick part of the blade down to the edge or the tip and but these are ground nice and thin at the tip so they work quite well performance is very good and then here is the back shot so they're pretty thin at the edge as well the performance on these is quite good uh, it's fairly stiff blade um, and it's got a little bit of weight to it because it's a, a full tang uh, western or yo handle on it so it's got some mass to it but the performance is is quite good and again you've got that stiffness on the cutting board so it feels really rigid and a kind of a nice it feels a little beefier than it is. You don't want to make the mistake of thinking this is going to chop through stuff. It shouldn't, but it feels uh, kind of rigid on the cutting board. So I, I, some people are really going to like that. I think it, it's a nice package. The blade height's about 45 millimeters, a little bit, a little bit over 45 millimeters at the back. You've got a great spot here for your finger for a pinch grip. Uh, you've got pretty decent clearing there as long as you you know take care with your fingers, uh, but got good good clearance there as well. The handle is a red pack of wood, black handle wood, hand, excuse me, man, I can't talk this morning. Red pack of wood, black pack of wood, handle, slab sides, uh, that's a stabilized wood product. You've got uh, three stainless rivets there, full tang construction, which adds to the weight a little bit, but nice and stiff, very strong. They've uh, got a little bit of rounding here, kind of to let it go into the, you know, the blade as far as the feel goes. And the handle's got a good feel to it. It's, it feels just about right from a dimension standpoint. Nice, kind of nice handle. Uh, even the sides are pretty flat right here and you got a little bit of an edge there, but it kind of helps for your indexing for a grip. Uh, balance point is gonna be a little bit further back because of that full tang, so don't expect it to be like a, a wah handle. But there's the balance point right about there, which is actually not bad. It's forward of the choil by just a little bit. But on a pinch grip, you're going to have a little handle-heavy feel to it, which is going to be par for the course with this style of, of handle. Uh, the knife is nice looking. As I mentioned, it's a good performer. Here's the beauty shot. So on the right side of the blade, this is your Nishiji or pear skin finish. This is the kanji. I think that's laser etched. And then here's the left side of the blade. You've got some embossed kanji there. Same kind of finish. Uh, it's just nicely finished. A little bit of rounding of the spine, a little bit of rounding of the choil edges, so it's comfortable. I'll give these a good 6 out of 10 on the, on the out-of-the-box edge. But this is a good value line of knives. All stainless, good performance. Actually, very good performance. So here is your cutting board profile. So it's not super flat. Um, 
Towards the back, you do roll into a bit of flat area at the back, so you can shop pretty nicely with this back 30%. And then typical Santoku with the sheep's foot uh, profile of the tip, so the tip's going to be fairly low. So this will rock up in there before the tip starts wanting to dig in. So you can rock over medium to low stuff, no problem. Tip draws work well on this blade. Chopping at the back, so quite versatile. Uh, just a real nice package. Stiff, um, easy to use, very high quality steel. All stainless, nice fit and finish, great value, so good package. So this is the Tsunahis uh, G3 or Ginsanko Nashiji Santoku 185mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.